Hi, my name is Mac Dunlop. I've been asked to look at a piece by Thomas Amitti. He's the son of Joseph Amitti, uh, Cornwall's first black composer. Uh, landed in Falmouth after four years being shanghaied or press ganged uh, onto, into the Navy um, so that he could entertain the, the crew. Uh, having been based in Lisbon, uh, and uh, found his way from being a slave to becoming a principal violinist with the, uh, the Lisbon Symphony. Uh, so this is a story of what happened to him afterwards. And instead of developing a career as a principal violinist and a composer in Lisbon, he was uh, taken away on a ship, dropped in Falmouth to make his way in the world again, started out as a music teacher, eventually ended up in Truro, where he did, did compose for the, um, the, the music society. But unfortunately, none of his compositions survive. And in part, that's because even though uh, he was really well regarded in Cornwall, um, his works were taken to London and uh, they were told, yes, these are, these are very good, but unfortunately, if the composer is black, then uh, we have no use for them. So Britain may not have um, been taking part in the slave trade at that point, but they weren't above kidnapping people and um, and using their colour against them. And we know that that still exists today. And uh, this is a piece by his son, Thomas Amitti, um, that survives, that does survive. Uh, it's a piece that he wrote for the Royal Cornwall and Devon Artillery Quadrilles. It's a general assembly piece. It's unusual. Uh, because it's a piece for a marching band, but it's composed for the piano. So I, I, I assume that the General Assembly piece is a tune that they uh, might have been played when everybody had got together in the drill hall uh, for rehearsal. And um, once they'd all tuned up and had a chat and so on, then this piece might well have been played to get everybody's attention and bring every, everything to order as a General Assembly. So I'm just going to play a little bit of it for you and, and see how we get on. I might just try and switch the mic a little away from me. Sorry about, sorry about the noise. General Assembly. General Assembly by Thomas Amitti. I I just played the top part of that, just so you get an idea of how um, the quality of uh, what he was composing was to get everybody's attention, but to just to kind of rally the troops. Um, of course, that's what marching bands were all about. Um, but of course, there's there's that lovely descending. That's nice, and. Uh, Makes you think of how music, how music moves from place to place, changes from time to time, and, and has real function as well. It isn't just about entertainment the way we might think about it today. It had a, a language and a code on its own. Um, 
so for the marching band the general assembly was a kind of keynote a, um, a kind of call a bit like reverie or um, a national anthem you know the, the music is used in these ways to kind of bring pe to people together whether they're singing them on football terraces or in gospel choirs uh, and you can see how that is almost a kind of universal I'm not going to go too much further into detail because I've already gone on too. 